always say. <laughs> there you are. Two down, one to go, eh? Ha <laughs> ha! We're on a damn roll! While you were dealing with the trash, I managed to get a hold of Ronnie. And she's gonna help us take down the Blood Eagles at their final stronghold. The Watoga Underground. Honestly, I don't know. Ronnie said she'll fill us in on everything when we get there. Now, if you're wondering what to bring, I'd bring everything you've got. All right, this is the Claw's last stand. And he isn't going down easy. Oh, she's bringing the whole gang. It's, uh, it's gonna be a bloodbath. <laughs> Can't wait. Oh, we will. Just let me ask one thing before we go. You know, I'm just, uh, I'm just a little worried about what's gonna happen after we rescue Frankie and, and, and take down the Claw. You know, my, my work here will be done, but, I mean, where, do, where does that leave us? Uh, that's what I was hoping you'd say. You know, it's, uh, it's kind of funny. <laughs> In another life, you would have made a hell of a raider yourself. <laughs> Imagine that. All right, I'm gonna head out to Watoga Underground and get things set up with Ronnie. You meet us there. Let's do this. Welcome to Watoga, city of the future. Hi there. Welcome to the city of Watoga. Identified intruder detected. You have arrived at the city of the future. This is Watoga, city of the future. I think Beckett wants to talk to you. You're here! Now, it's a party. Is this the one you were talking about? Yep. Yeah, I could see Beckett doing something like that. Luckily for both of you, I'm perfectly real. Here you go. Key to this joint. Didn't come cheap, but since you're here to take down the claw, it was worth every cap. Oh, I don't want to name names, but, uh, I have quite a few juicy contacts in Appalachia. Damn shame this one was smart enough to do the swap through a middleman. Otherwise, I would have walked away with the key and my caps. Yeah, you better. My ass is hanging out in the breeze on this one. Uh, we... we know, Ronnie. We know. Anyway, here's the plan. 
Ronnie's gonna head to the main garage entrance and get her gang wrapped up. In the meantime, we're gonna cut our way through the Eagles and head to the garage control room and get the door open from the inside. Clear enough? Uh, there's a garage entrance on the other side of the complex, and it can only be opened from the inside. That's where we let Ronnie and her gang roll in. Now we need to get to the control room and hit the switch that will open the bay door. That's simple enough, if we get there in one piece. Yeah! And, uh, get this. They even got some of the Watoga Underground's robots up and running to throw in our path. I guess we've worn them down so much they're getting desperate. Not that they were level-headed to start with, but... One more thing. The Claw is the only one who knows where they're keeping Frankie. So don't go all gun-happy on me until I give the go-ahead. I already told my gang. Any of them shoots the Claw, they gotta answer to me. All right. Good luck. I'll see you both on the other side. Let's wipe them all out.
law abiding citizen. All it right there. Intruder, I think they're... Something's <laughs> close. <laughs> Ugh. <sighs> 
What the hell? Frankie? Is that you? That's right, Beckett. It's me, your baby brother. Surprise, surprise! No. No way. This doesn't make any sense. You're the claw? How is that possible? Oh, Beckett. Always two steps behind. Racing to catch up. Think, brother, think! The Claw lives within all of us, waiting for the moment it awakens and tears its way through our flesh, only to burst forth anew! We're all the Claw! Frankie, listen to me. You, you gotta fight this. It's the Chems, they... They, they, they did something to you. Changed you. This isn't you, man. You can beat this thing. Oh. <laughs> the fight ended long before it began, sweet brother. It died when you left me in Foundation. Left me so you could seek the claw yourself. The draw was too much for you, wasn't it? The allure of power, making you forget the past, making you forget everything you love. Look, man, look, I'm sorry, okay? I was wrong. I, I, I shouldn't have stuffed you away like that. We, we should have stuck together. It's... Look, it is all my fault. Come on, Frankie. Snap out of it. Okay, you are my brother, and I need you to come home. Frankie, no. No, 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 no. Frankie's dead. You killed him, Beckett. By abandoning him, you pulled the trigger. But I know why you're really here. To slay the Claw, and yourself become the Claw anew! Finish the job, Beckett. Do what you must. I don't know what to do. I, I never expected anything like this. Please, I need your help. I, I don't know if Frankie's in there or not anymore. Maybe he's too far gone to save him, and I should just pull the trigger. Please, help me. Oh my god, you're right. I let him get inside my head. I need to focus. Let me talk to him. Hey, Frankie. I want you to look at me. Look? Yes. Look. Look beyond this shell made of skin and bone. Look deep and witness the soul of the Claw. Focus on my voice, Frankie. It's just me and you against the world, buddy. Just like old times. Come on, man. Focus. I know you've been hurt, Frankie. And I know I wasn't there for you, especially when you needed me the most. And I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. It's not that easy, Beckett. The Claw demands a high price for failure. The price is suffering. Listen to me, Frankie. Do you remember when we were kids? You know, we were playing near that bombed-out factory in Maryland. And then those, those rabid dogs just jumped out of nowhere and just, just surprised us. And we ran and we ran. But then I fell into that ditch and twisted my leg like a dumbass, right? Hmm? I told you to run. But what did you say to me, man? Hmm? Try and remember. No, Beckett. I... those... 
Moments died when Frankie died. Only a fool dwells in the past. The Blood Eagles are our future! No, no, no. No, there's no claw. And there's no Blood Eagles. There's just me and you right now. All right, so shut up and listen. After the dogs were gone and you reached into the ditch to help me out, what did you say? Tell me, goddammit, Frankie, tell me! I... I... I said... I... We were brothers, and we'd never walk away from... from each other. No matter how bad... No matter... How... No matter how bad things became. Yeah, that's exactly right. And you fought off those dogs with nothing but a goddamn broken baseball bat. And it almost killed you, man. But you... You saved me. I mean, you were so caught up from the fight, I... I thought I was gonna lose you, Frankie. Uh, I remember... Uh, you stole those meds from me to, to fight off the rabies. You kept watch over me for weeks. I... Uh, why can't I see it clearly? Uh, the hell happened to me, Beckett? God, this hurts. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, God, I know it hurts, man. I know it does. But whatever it takes, we'll get through this together. All right, we are family, and I love you, Frankie. I always have. I always will. I love you too, Beckett. And... And I'm sorry. Sorry for everything. I can't believe I was able to talk him through that. Oh, proud of me for not murdering my brother. Hmm? <laughs> I suppose that's high, high praise for a former raider. You know, if anything, I should be disappointed with myself. You know, this is all my fault to begin with. I started him down this path by not being there for him. And to make matters worse, I was such a chicken shit, I forced you to make this decision. Not my finest hour. And I have yours. Forever. I mean that. <sighs> Okay. I'm gonna bring Frankie to a friend I know who can help him fully recover from his addiction. Head back to your camp, all right? And I'll meet you there soon. And before you say anything, yes, I promise to show up. Okay? Don't worry. Have a safe trip back. Hey, there you are. I had some news for you about Frankie. Talk to Ronnie. And she said she's gonna handle everything. Like, uh, you know, making sure all that buff-out crap is out of his system. Poor kid. Uh, it's gonna be a slow road to recovery. Yeah. Yeah. And I had it all wrong at the beginning. See, it turns out, Frankie had been gone longer from Foundation than I was led to believe. And he actually joined the Eagles voluntarily. Now, of course... He did it to follow in my footsteps, so yeah, I guess that one's on me. And as he started taking the buff out overdoses and buying into the Eagles' bullshit, it blew his mind. And he started climbing the ranks. After the previous claw got wiped out and it was clear Frankie was one of the craziest in the gang at the time, well, he filled the spot. Well, good thing is, she hadn't been kidnapped by the Blood Eagles like I'd suspected. She had actually gone into hiding. I sent her word that Frankie's okay. I can't exactly let her visit Ronnie's camp. It isn't safe for someone not in the gang. Once he's back on his feet, I'm sure he'll return to visit her at Foundation. Unfortunately, it won't be. 
There's still plenty of those maniacs around. And the important thing is that we took out their leadership. And since that was what I set out to do, I'm officially out of a job. Well, now that Edwin's retired, Ronnie is the full-time leader of the gang, so... Now she said she'll swing by your camp every once in a while, say hello. As long as the bar is open, of course. Yeah, I'm sure a few of those maniacs are still out there, and they'll be looking for a fight. But as long as they remain leaderless, we'll be fine. That's right. After all the crap I've been through, there's no way I'm going back to that life. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll still be more than happy to accept the caps that come with brokering any jobs for you, if you're interested. Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Nothing you haven't done before. Don't worry. Might want to stock up on ammo and supplies before you take them on, though. Just in case. Great. I'll see what my contacts come up with. Hey, um... Before you take off, I, uh... I just have one last thing to say. You know... Since I've been in Appalachia, I've uh, run into all sorts of people, and, uh, you know, most of them wouldn't bother to help you if you were dying at their feet. But you, and what you've done for me and my family, listen, I don't know if I'll ever be able to repay you. Oh, yeah, 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 uh, okay, uh, <laughs> good. So, I, uh, guess you have a lot of stuff to do, and well, I, I need to start looking for some jobs to run, but, you know, if you ever need a drink or just want to talk, uh, bar's always open, friend.